Hey guys, Kev here and White Mountain Knives. My boy Justin over there was kind enough to send me a couple knives to check out. And these are pretty cool knives. So let's check them out. I'm going to save the uh, wild one for last. The first one is from Megaron and this is a upgraded Moyarl. So this is a premium Moyarl. And Megaron did a great job here. The, the contouring, the milling, the inlay. I mean, it feels like a premium Moyarl. And I would venture to guess it's still pretty affordable. I would guess around $2, 250 We'll look these up. But uh, you have the Megaron logo here. You have a blue collar here. M390 on the steel. And you get hand satin on this. Nice titanium clip. Now, the, the uh, clip... It's kind of shallow for some reason. I don't know why they did that, but it's pretty dang shallow. Now, this one's pretty good left-handed, actually, because the detent on it is rather soft, unfortunately. Is it terrible? No, it's not terrible, but uh, the way the hole is shaped, I just tend to uh, feel like it could be stronger. Um, although now it feels a little bit better than it did last night. Uh, last night when I was flicking it after the live stream, it just felt a little bit softer than I like. Um, you know, I can kind of feel it there. It kind of feels like maybe just needs a break in a little. But anyway, left-handed, because that detent's not too, too crazy, I can get down here a little bit. And I can fire this out, and it feels pretty good left-handed. Now, if I go too high, I can't. It locks up. Um, but if I lower it, I can fire it lefty, which is good for me. Um, you have a lock bar insert. You have external relief cuts right there. I wonder how that interacts with the clip. I'll test that out. Really comfortable grip. You guys know the Moyarl is fantastic. One of my favorite budget knives. Um, now, I've heard that the HRC and stuff isn't great on their 14C I haven't tested that, so, you know, it's just what I've heard from people. But this is their M390, so I don't know much about that either. But you have this beautiful uh, hand satin. So anybody who has that kind of information, leave it down below. Um, you can see here, you should have plenty of room there to sharpen it because you have an absolute ton of space after the plunge grind there. It does look like it takes a while to get all the way out. I think it's like right here. Uh, so I think you have plenty of room, but man, that's a pretty long ramp down there, but um, it does look good. So I got to give it that. Man, it's beautiful, isn't it? One of the things I did not love about the Mayaral is I think it had proud liners and it was thick and it was really, really kind of flat too. Um, this really takes that beautiful design and takes it to the next level. Now, somebody in my uh, Sakura video compared the Gecko Custom Sakura to this knife and said they're basically the same design. And I don't see that at all. Um, they look totally different to me. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a drop point with a frame lock and it has a hole, so sure. But um, if you put them side by side, unfortunately, I sent that knife off already. I don't think they would be very similar. But, you know, we live in a world where there's some people who just think everything looks like something else, and I get it, but I wish we just didn't do that. Um, it's okay when you're just comparing, like I do. I'll say, this looks like a blah, 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 mixed with a blah, blah, blah. But when I do that, I'm not saying, it's a copy or whatever, where there's a lot of people that are just like, man, it's a total ripoff of this. It's like, there's 80,000 knives in existence, and there's only so many ways that you can make a knife blade look, you know? So, uh, we got to chill out with that a little bit, unless it's blatant. Anyway, yeah, this is uh, very nice, really well done. I'd like a little bit of a stronger detent right-handed. Now, left-handed, it's perfect for me. Um, the thumb flick is good, so it's definitely solid. I think most people would be happy with this. If I took this apart and I threw skips in here, I'm pretty sure it would be uh, fantastic. This is not my knife. These are on loan from White Mountain Knives, so um, I will be sending them back, so I'm not gonna take it apart. It's dead centered. I mean, it has that pear-shaped hole. It really feels good when it flicks out. 
And then what I loved about the Moyara was you have this choke up grip, super comfortable. You could choke back and you know, just great. Really, really nicely done. I'm, uh, I'm really happy with that one. So big shout out to Megaron for uh, making a premium version of it. Now I'm gonna go to White Mountain Knives here and see if I can't pull up um, the price on this. Now, of course, something's not working here. There we go, okay. Moyarl. So here's the Moyarl we have. Uh, this is giving me the, come on, can I just search? Yeah, I don't wanna have to click on something. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. This has been happening to me all day. I don't know if it's my internet. Let's see what happens if I turn the Wi-Fi off. Come on, dude. Man, brutal, huh? I was like, some websites just suck or what? Or if... Just not working. Okay, I clicked on it. Now, now take me to the next page. Yeesh. All right, I'll, uh, I'll let you know if that loads up. I don't wanna waste your time. I'm already doing that. So anyway, let's check out this next one because it's really cool. This is the Riot GTR. Look at this. It's an in-house design. Absolutely stunning. They have these milled in sort of mesh pockets here, all milled. Look at that. Then you have zirconium inlay, zirconium collars, and obviously anodized titanium on the clip and the hardware. You have a flipper tab, and this is an integral. These are 450 bucks at uh, White Mountain Knives. So if you wanna pick one up, definitely check out White Mountain Knives. And man, it has a great detent, really nice hand satin on this. Ow. And I didn't even realize it has a hole. I didn't even try to flick it. Oh, you can flick it. Um, it definitely bit in a little bit there. Let's see, I don't know, there's a frame lock, so I doubt it. Yeah, it's not gonna work lefty. Thumb studs, are these studs or just stops? That worked, actually. Um, but they look more like stops to me. Um, ergonomically, not bad, actually. I mean, a little bit of a flat here. Um, but you can feel every one of those little holes and angles and whatnot. Um, and there's sort of a choil. I guess that is a choil, actually. Sorry. Um, I could choke up. Feels pretty good. Got a little poon spoon here. It has a heavy blade. So if you let that thing swing down, it's gonna, it's gonna get you. So just be careful with that. But look at that action. Absolute butter. I mean, isn't that nice? I really like that. Um, try the stud right hand. I'm gonna be on the lock bar though. I suck it out, yeah. Um, but you can flick it right-handed pretty easily. So that's nice. Yeah, I'm on the frame lock. You can see it's sort of a bolster lock. So I guess technically I can put my finger here and then, ah, there you go. So you can put pressure there and still flip out, which is nice. Just, you know, it's one of those marvels of machining kind of deals for me. Really nicely done. So yeah, this one's 450. I'm guessing if you took off this screw like the pivot screw, this collar would come off, and then there's probably some access in there to the bearings and the stop pin and whatnot to make it easier for disassembly because it is a um, integral. This is also numbered, so this is number 79 of 150. I'm guessing that's in this color, but it could be overall perfectly centered blade. Riot just does excellent work. Comes in uh, their nice packaging. Where are you? Like this, little flip up box. And you get a little, uh, I guess there's like a, you know, um, 
cloth in there or whatever. And then here's the nice, really nice foam cutout with blue in it. I don't know if they match those to the color. You know, that Megaron comes in this box. You slide it open. You have the world's worst knife packaging uh, material. I just hate this material because it's so easy to rip. I feel like every one of these I've ever used, I've just accidentally ripped when I tried to put the knife back in. Um, but look at that. This one's not too bad. But I don't know. It just seems weird. Everybody else uses like a soft plastic for that. So yeah, really cool. I don't think I'm gonna get uh, the price on that Mayoral. It's just, oh, wait, there we go. There's an Axis Lock version. And here is the M390 209 for plain tie. And then this one I think is in stock, which is why he was able to send it to me. So let's just wait for it. These are the budget one, 50 bucks, man. So here it is, 219. I'm trying to hit the flipper tab. 219. That's good, in my opinion. For this build, that is really good. 219. So, I mean, if you were looking at that Sakore and you didn't want to drop the 400, you know, you could spend half the money and get one of these. And, I mean, it's a drop point with a hole and a frame lock. So, it's basically the same design, right? <laughs> Um, no, but it is a good alternative to some more expensive knives for sure. Just a really nice looking knife. <laughs> it's one of those basic designs, and I mean that in the nicest way. It just works so well. That's why it's so popular, you know? So let me know what you guys think of the, uh, Premium Moyarl and the GTR. Which one of these would you take if you could just take one? If you had to spend the money, which one would you take? Because now you're spending four fifty, two nineteen. Maybe you're less inclined um, to take the same one in that case. So I'd be curious. I really like how they do that milling on their knives. Looks really good. But um, yeah, that's it, guys. Thank you to White Mountain Knives. Definitely check out White Mountain Knives. Use my code Lefty Ten. That'll save you ten percent off your order on basically anything they sell except for Jack Wolf knives. There might be like one or two other brands that don't take coupons, but for the most part, you'll get 10% off of everything in that store with my code LEFTY10. And um, yeah, I really appreciate Justin. He's been a great uh, friend to the channel and to uh, my knife business as well with Devo Knives. So uh, I definitely recommend White Mountain Knives, but you guys know that, and uh, I love you. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day, and uh, I'll catch you later. Peace!